Okay, let's talk about the exam itself. Uh, well, and, and getting your certification. Um, the, uh, one of the requirements is you are going to have to sign the Code of Ethics. Um, this is not onerous. Uh, there are only four canons in the Code of Ethics, which basically states you have a duty to society. You have a duty to, in a sense, ethics itself. You have a duty to your employer. And you have a duty to the profession. And so, you know, you have to, you have to sign this, um, I think, before you even write the exam. Uh, that's, yeah, anyway. Um, you have to have five years' experience. Um, in at least two of the eight domains. Um, now, th there are eight domains now. There used to be ten, and, and we will talk about uh, the difference, uh, which doesn't make any difference in the actual material. So it's just how they, the contents are, are divvied up in, in terms of what goes where. Um, the... Um, the old, uh, you have to have experience in, in at least two domains uh, of the, the current eight, but it's actually easier uh, than it used to be because there is a, a lot of duplication in the eight domain model. So um, any uh, job that, that you know, does touch on security, you probably can make a case um, that it covers two or even three uh, domains uh, for your experience requirements. So that, you know, do not uh, worry yourself about that. Um, you, uh, oh, if you have a degree, um, that reduces to four years experience. So, you know, four years experience plus a degree is, is uh, uh, considered equivalent there. Um, uh, the, uh, the domains cover all of security, which is referred to as the common body of knowledge, or CBK. And um, uh, ISC2 itself has uh, trademarked uh, one or the other, either the, the term common body of knowledge or CBK. It's probably the CBK. Um, anyway, uh, now uh, you're going to write the exam. Um, if you uh, write the paper-based exam, if, if that is what is made available to you, that's 250 questions and you get six hours to write it. If you get the computer adaptive model of testing. Um, that is between 100 and 150 questions, and you get three hours to go through it. Now, if you get the computer adaptive model, um, the reason you get fewer questions is because it will sort of ask some questions um, covering a given domain um, if you you know start answering them correctly and it figures okay you know this domain it will go on to another domain so it, it doesn't you know go the whole route um, now the that does um, create a problem if you don't pass the the initial set of questions uh, sorry it, it creates a problem in some people's minds because the uh, exam system will start asking you questions about the domain that you are obviously weak in. And um, some of the people, the candidates for the exam, will uh, think that, oh, you know, this is picking on me. It's, it's picking my weak spot. Um, no, don't think of it that way. Think of it as the computer system is giving you more chances to pass this particular thing to say that yes you do you do actually know this you just didn't get the the first few questions so you know if you don't get any of the questions obviously you don't know that domain and and no you you don't get to pass the exam um so um see it you know don't see it as an attack see it as an opportunity 
uh, that way. Now, I um, have made um, sample question. well, sorry, uh, uh, there are sample question sets that you can buy. Don't buy them. Um, it, any of the ones that are for sale, uh, number one, um, they don't do a very good job of representing what is actually on the exam and the style of question um, that you will see. Um, I have uh, made available a set of questions on the community website. The ISC2 uh, has a what they call the community. That is community.isc2.org. So, and you can go there even if you don't have your CISSP. Um, uh, you know, most of the people who go on the community site don't have their certification yet. And they are asking questions about, you know, how to write the exam, how to, you know, what resources, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, uh, you know, go to that site, sign up, um, uh, you know, look around, see if there's anything useful uh, that you can find there. But particularly, go to the section, uh, the, the topic on exams, and you will find... Uh, a discussion called either CISSP questions or practice questions. Um, and it shows up under under both if you search for it. Um, and I, I wrote a bunch there. Uh, this one particular discussion, uh, there's, I don't know, 100, 150 questions in there, plus the discussion of why this is the right answer. So um, that gives you uh, not just, well, it's, it's not so much the, the practice in the questions. It does follow very closely, as closely as I, could, as I could manage, the style of questions that you will, in fact, see on the exam. And um, it also, because there is a discussion of, you know, what is the right answer and why is it the right answer, it's how to approach the different types of questions that you will see on the exam. Uh, so, for example, in you know the uh, telecommunications domain, you might get the question, is the internet secure? And then you have four options. So you have a question and then you always get four options. Uh, so, is the internet secure? A, yes. B, yes for availability. C, not the implementation, D, no. So, you know, there, uh, you know, that's in, in very rough outline what, what you are going to see. It's always going to be a question and, and then four answers. You may also see certain things where they give you a scenario and then a bunch of those questions. That you get a question, and, but it's always four answers. That's all, you know. Uh, so, um, Another another sample question, what is SPAF? Uh, the Security Protective Analysis Foundation. B, Dr. E. Spafford. C, a flooding attack using many small packets. Uh, that's a combination of spam and chaff. Um, and uh, D, a non-lethal physical immobilization system. So, you know, which which of those four is the correct answer for that question. Um, remember, they're looking for fundamental concepts. Uh, you're going to see some trivia, but not an awful lot. Remember, you only need 70% to pass. Um, remember Bloom's taxonomy that, that we went through before. Uh, the facts, synthesis, analysis, critical thinking, and judgment. What they are going to really be concentrating on is critical thinking and judgment, and that is why a lot of the questions are written the way they are. They're looking for your judgment. 